the British one pound coin is a denomination of the pound sterling. Its obverse has featured the profile of Queen Elizabeth II since the coin Euro unregistered trademark S introduction on February 9, 1983. Three different portraits of the Queen have been used, with the latest design by Ian Rank broadly being introduced in 1998. The current standard reverse, featuring the Royal Shield, was introduced in 2008. In addition to the standard reverse one or two new designs are minted each year. The coin was introduced on 9 February 1983 to replace the Bank of England £1 note which ceased to be issued at the end of 1984 and was removed from circulation on March 11, 1988, though still redeemable at the bank's offices, like all English bank notes. £1 notes continue to be issued in Jersey, Guernsey and the Isle of Man, and by the Royal Bank of Scotland, but the pound coin is much more widely used. As of March 2013 there were an estimated 1,528 million A1 pound coins in circulation with an estimated face value of A1,528,274,000 pounds. The Royal Mint estimates that 3.04% are counterfeit. In 2017, a new 12-sided design is to be introduced. The coin is to be of a similar 12-sided shape to the pre-decimal brass threepence coin, have roughly the same size as the current A1 pound coin and will be B metallic like the current A2 pounds coin. The new design is intended to make counterfeiting more difficult, also via an undisclosed hidden security feature. Design, to date, three different obverses have been used. In all cases, the inscription is Elizabeth II DG Reg FD. 2013, where 2013 is replaced by the year of minting. As with all new decimal currency, until 1984 the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by Arnold Macken appeared on the obverse, in which the Queen wears the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. Between 1985 and 1997 the portrait by Raphael McClouf was used, in which the Queen wears the George IV state diadem. Since 1998 the portrait by Ian Rank broadly has been used, again featuring the tiara, with a signature mark IRB below the portrait. In August 2005 the Royal Mint launched a competition to find new reverse designs for all circulating coins apart from the A2 pounds coin. The winner, announced in April 2008, was Matthew Dent, whose designs were gradually introduced in the circulating British coinage from mid-2008. The designs for the 1p, 2p, 5p, 10p, 20p and 50p coins depict sections of the royal shield that form the whole shield when placed together. The shield in its entirety is featured on the A1 pound coin. The coin's obverse remains unchanged. The design of the reverse of the coin was changed each year from 1983 through 2008 to show, in turn, an emblem representing the UK, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and England, together with an appropriate edge inscription. Since 2008, national base designs have still been minted, but alongside the new standard version, and no longer in strict rotation. The inscription one pound appears on all reverse designs. In common with non-commemorative A2 pounds coins, the A1 pound coin has a mint mark, a small crosslet found on the milled edge that represents Landrecent in South Wales, where the Royal Mint has been based since 1968. The reverse of the new 12-sided pound coin, to be introduced in 2017, is to be chosen via a public design competition. The competition to design the reverse of the 12-sided, B-metallic coin was opened in September 2014. All years except 1998 and 1999 have been issued into circulation, although the number issued has varied enormously a Euro 1983 and 1984 in particular had large mintages to facilitate the changeover from paper notes, while some years such as 1986 and 1988 are only rarely seen. Production since 1997 has been reduced, thanks to the introduction of the circulating £2 coin. Counterfeiting Royal Mint surveys estimate the proportion of counterfeit A1 pound coins in circulation. This was estimated at 3.04% in 2013, a rise from 2.74%. A figure previously announced in 2012 was 2.86%, 2 
following the prolonged rise from 0.92% in 2002 a Euro 2003 to 0.98% in 2004, 1.26% in 2005, 1.69% in 2006, 2.06% in 2007, 2.58% in 2008, 2.65% in 2009, 3.07% in 2010 and 3.09% in 2011. Figures have generally been reported in the following year. In 2008, the highest levels of counterfeits were in Northern Ireland and the South East and London, with the lowest being in Northwest England. Coin testing companies estimated in 2009 that the actual figure was about twice the Mint's estimate, suggesting that the Mint was underplaying the figures so as not to undermine confidence in the coin. It is illegal to pass on counterfeit currency knowingly. The official advice is to hand it in, with details of where received, to the police, who will retain it and investigate. One article suggested given that fake coins are worthless, you will almost certainly be better off not even looking. The recipient has recourse against the supplier, as in any such case. Counterfeits are circulated not only by incautious people but also inadvertently by banks. A 2011 BBC television programme withdrew 1,000 A1 pound coins from each of five major banks and found that each batch contained between 32 and 38 counterfeits, compared to about 31 estimated by the Mint. Some of the counterfeits were found by automated machinery, others could be detected only by expert visual inspection. In July 2010, Following speculation that the Royal Mint would have to consider replacing a £1 coins with a new design because of the fakes, bookmakers Paddy Power offered odds of 6-4, that the a £1 coin would be removed from circulation. In addition to obviously visible differences in poor quality, many better counterfeits can be detected by comparing the orientation of the obverse and reverse euro they always match in genuine coins, but very often not in counterfeits. The design on the reverse must be correct for the stamped year. It is difficult to manufacture coins with properly produced edges. The milling may be incomplete or poor and the inscription may be poorly produced and sometimes in the wrong typeface. A shiny coin with less wear than its date suggests is also suspect, although it may be a genuine coin that has rarely been used. Counterfeit coins are made from several metals and by different processes including casting, stamping, Electrotyping, copying with a pantograph or spark erosion. Counterfeits made of acrylic plastic containing metal powder to increase weight, have occasionally been found. Counterfeits may be made of a metal of the same color as genuine coins or coated. Two pound coins, made from two metals of different color, are much harder to counterfeit. Counterfeited coins are often easily seen to be the wrong color. The Swazi Lilangani is minted from the same planckets as the British pound coin, hence has the same chemical constitution, diameter and mass. The Lilangani is worth less. This has enabled it to be used for vending machine fraud and payment fraud in situations where the receiver is unlikely to examine the coins closely. The New Zealand $1 coin can be spent with relative success in places that do not pay too much attention for example pubs. Due to its similar color and appearance, other pound coins in circulation, also legally circulating but not legal tender in the UK, are some A1 pound coins of British Crown dependencies, Gibraltar and UK South Atlantic Overseas Territories, being of the same size and composition as their UK equivalent and mostly bearing the same portraits of the UK monarch. Further reading, in an April 1993 The New Yorker article Real Britannia, Julian Barnes describes the meetings to choose the 1994 Euro 1997 reverse designs. This is reprinted in his book Letters from London as Britannia's New Brass Eyes. See also Pound Sterling, Banknotes of the Pound Sterling, Coins of the Pound Sterling, Coin Counterfeiting, References <laughs>